good evening. It's me, Ariza Gaming. I'm back. How are we doing? It's Monday. It's the bank holiday in the uh, UK. So nice day of mostly shopping and somewhat worrying about whiskers. I think she accidentally swallowed a snail hole. So uh, she, <laughs> she's she been trying to digest that today, but she's been doing all right. Anyways, let's get back to oxygen not included. We. We are at the start of the cycle again. <laughs> so I'm going to resume the music for the end of the cycle. And uh, yeah, let's see. So, back on the metallic volcano asteroid. Uh, we just finished building a god volcano tamer. So this is self-cooled. Just watch it run for a little bit. But there's a load of steam in here. We're going to keep dumping more steam in here. Dumping salt water in here to produce the steam. The gold comes out at about 2,600 degrees Celsius, but the specific heat capacity of gold is low. So it doesn't take a lot of cooling, or it doesn't take a lot of steam to cool it down. So what we've got here is we have a conveyor loader that's loading all the material up, and then this shutoff activates if the material is hot and it feeds it back onto the loop via this bridge. Uh, but none of this material is hot because we've dumped some water in here. So this is all getting dumped out here um, at the steam temperature. We are going to make a room today which further cools this down to room temperature. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to build this same contraption over this gold volcano. We're going to put it in exactly the same place. So what that does mean is I'm going to deconstruct all the stuff here. That's absolutely fine. We can just remove all of this. None of this is needed. Tile-wise, we're literally just going to duplicate what we've got over here. Like, exactly. So, a nice, easy start. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. We'll remove these. We're not going to pour any more liquid on this directly. This can go here. The liquid lock will start in this bit. And then that's where the liquid lock will end. This is where we'll have the steam turbine. There you go, remove the ladders. That's absolutely fine. Remove these two. Yeah, I got some new shoes. I'm pretty excited about that. Because I've been wearing my current ones for way too long. Um... And they're pretty much the same as my old ones. They're slightly different. They're the same color. I'm quite happy with them. We got a nice big tile of phosphorus here. Lovely. Yeah, this can just go here, and then we can just deconstruct all of all of this stuff. And all that is going to cause any issues. Sharing room full. Fine. Eat these guys. Let's see, and then we can put um, some more tiles here. So this will be the liquid lock to make sure the steam doesn't escape. And we're going to make sure it's a vacuum like this one, so that the uh, so that the heat doesn't transfer out through the oil. Now the important thing is, this gold volcano is dormant, so we will need to we will need to pump this gas out. I think we won't just be able to tile this. Hey Neo, sir, how you doing? Enjoy your lurk. Here you go. You can have a lurk. <laughs> Nightbot, Nightbot, you didn't quite get it right, but that's fine. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're enjoying your games. I promise I'll get Splunky at some point. <laughs> I just need some more time. There you go. Neo's having a lurk as well. Lovely. So this should be done fairly quickly, to be honest. We know what we're doing with this one. Uh, that steam turbine. We'll hook that up to some power as well. Um, what power line am I going to hook that up to? So, I think what I'm actually going to do is this one here will go across like this. 
can I? Not quite like that. So that can go over here. And that will correspond to this steam turbine and connect it to these two. And then this line, we're actually going to move. We're going to connect this one here. We'll deconstruct this. Move that wire up. Gee, we can just ply as this. Yeah, I can go there. The gold should be coming out even colder now, so we shouldn't have to worry about building any gold wires in the bases anymore. And then we'll connect this up in a minute. I don't believe you guys have any other errands to do, so you should get this done fairly quickly. But yeah, I uploaded a short of whiskers to the YouTube channel. I couldn't help myself. They were looking very dramatic as they were digesting a snail. So... Uh, there's a short on there, which I uh, put some music on. Uh, yeah, we need to remove all of this stuff as well. Uh, actually, we got crude oil in here. You know, I could have been really smart and dropped this in here. We'll just empty these pipes and we'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll just use the, the bottle emptiers like usual. Yeah, so remove these. That's fine. Pretty interesting if we can get this done in one day. I don't think we will. This this volcano isn't going to erupt for another 40 cycles anyways. I'm mostly just doing it now because we just built one and the design is right there for us to use. Yeah, we need to sweep that. Uh, we'll put a gas pump in here just to get rid of this gas. Yeah, that's fine. We won't bother sweeping up any of the solid stuff because that will come out automatically. Gold pipe. Go like this. There we go. And then we can just copy and paste all the stuff over here. literally right there. Uh, although, first of all, we'll put the gas pump in. Put this stuff out of here. I guess we'll make that out of steel for now. Uh, vent can just go up here. You can strut this. What is all this CO2 pipe? Something I partially removed a while ago. I should probably... Just remove all of this. That's fine. Uh, we can remove all of this pipe as well now. That's fine. We won't need to remake this. Hopefully. The only circumstance in which this would break is if we brought something hotter than 500 degrees into here. And now that we're actually taming these metal volcanoes, it seems to be very unlikely. Man, this has been a long time coming. <laughs> I've been talking about this for like, what well, feels like a month. But once we have like, room temperature metals of all the different types, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be really easy to build really large stuff. And we'll probably, we'll come back to the flipped asteroid and build a load of stuff here. And we're going to build a petroleum boiler here. Definitely do something with all this magma. And then on neutral only, we're going to make the puff branch and probably a load more stuff. There's lots of space here to do stuff. Definitely get some more oil harvesting going. So this wire here, we'll just connect all of this stuff to... That should be okay. I don't think this will overload this. Uh, 
guess we'll see. Uh, gas pressure here is somewhat high. Let's just put a high pressure vent here for now. Why am I lurking in my own stream? <laughs> well, I'm always lurking here. Especially the bits where I don't talk. Which uh, isn't too often. Wait, you didn't get the command to work. Is that because you were replying? Oh yeah, because you've got the at Arizu Gaming in there, so Nightbot doesn't recognize it. Rip. How you doing, Leofar? I had a very nice dinner. It's a pie that I got from the middle. Yeah, we're making some pretty good time with this. It's going to be set to all. And then... The conveyor over here worked pretty well with only the two segments out of steel. So we'll do that again. And then the others can be made of, I don't know, gold amalgam. It's fine. Then the bridge can go down here. We'll connect all this stuff up afterwards. Right, so this wire is yet to be moved over. Let's deprioritize some of this stuff. That could be priority eight. Uh, this could all be priority eight, actually. Get this done first. Ooh, and there's the regular music. Has returned. I wish they'd fix that. I wish they'd uh, start the music up again when you load a save. Uh, we didn't put the tile there. Well, hopefully you guys sort that out. It looks like it looks like uh we got some steam here. It's holding back the oil. Hmm. How uh, irritating. It'll be fine. How is the pumping going over here? It's not going. Because we disconnected the vent uh, while we were trying to get this to work. Ah, I see. Yeah, we need to... And to be honest, I kind of want to cover this bit in liquid. We'll end up with some liquid dregs in here. That should be fine. We'll turn this on again and allow these uh, transformers to work properly. Uh, we're also going to dig all of this, all of these uh, non-slimy tiles out. Uh, I think we will dig this out now just to get the material out of there. So the aim is just to deodorize all of this polluted oxygen because the slime lung has spread to it and I'm trying not to worry about it too much because the dupes aren't going out here without suits anymore. But uh, it is still annoying me. Right, let's put the crude oil in here. Uh, that is sealed now, so this should, uh, this should work. I feel like these dupes are getting quicker. But there we go, that'll do. Don't need any more oil than that. Sweep that out of here. We've got a vacuum in here again, so now this is going to be completely heat sealed. Or, well, as heat sealed as the insulated tower tile allows, which is mostly heat. plastic do we have? 
We have 10.7 tons of plastic. I should probably start plasticking these tiles as well. The ones that the dupes always use. So let's do that. Uh, these could be plastic, that's okay. Oh, we built a gas range here. We never actually hooked it up. Let's do that now that we have the natural gas room finished. So, gas pipe here. Just have a third pipe come out here, and then that can go... We'll just send that straight up here. Okay, I'll do it like this. There we go. Then go out through space. That can come... It'll be hot natural gas. I'll just send it here for now. That's fine. Whatever. That could be priority eight. So make this priority nine. This could be priority nine as well. What's with this point? Yeah, you can remove that. That's okay. I'm glad that we uh, uh, we tweaked this at the end of last stream, because uh, now, as well as the natural gas coming out via the filter, we've also got any oxygen that we're pumping out of here back into the into the suit docks, so we're going to get these docks filled a lot more quickly, hopefully. And how's the base oxygen pressure looking? It's not amazing. This cloud of gas isn't really going anywhere. That's it, no one's hanging out down there, so that's not really a huge issue. Harvey thinks I need to move the carbon skimmer over here. Perhaps we can duplicate this setup over here. Nah, it's probably not needed. Let's not overthink it too much. Let's see, we can dig out some of these other tiles in the meantime. Or at least I'll just queue up the errands. <laughs> I hate slime like so fucking much. <laughs> it just winds me up. Let's get rid of all the tiles so that we can just deodorize this and be done with that. Louis is having fun. Looks like we're pretty much down to vacuum in here. Ah, oh, looks like, uh, hold on. Yeah, we've just reached a point where the vacuum is going to flip. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe I preempted that a little bit, but we'll see it flip in a minute. So once the vacuum pressure gets down to a few milligrams, it just stops flowing. The gas just stops flowing in there and it starts leaking itself like these. There we go. I can remove this. You need a glossy dracker. There you go. Uh, so let's see. Let's start dumping salt water in here. We could dump a large amount of salt water in here because this isn't going to erupt in age uh, for ages. We want to get to about 100 kilograms of tile steam in here. Just to make sure there aren't any heat spikes with this self-cooled steam turbine. It looks like the, the effect um, this worked as intended. We've got some brine here. <laughs> we didn't even connect this up, actually. Let's just reconnect this. Yes, continue to dump your liquids on this. This is probably going to flood if we're not careful. The liquid quantities aren't too high at the moment. I'll keep an eye on it. Let's actually build some of these lips here as well, and then we can just bottle empty some liquid into here. If we feel like it for some extra conductivity. 
Which circuit is overloaded? This one. Uh. Oh, right. Yeah, that's because I need to disconnect this. That's fine. I forgot to do that. There you go. We got Brittables. It's in the pod. No farters, I'll take a pip squeak. So now we can copy and paste the rest of the stuff over from this gold bucket. It's fine. Shut off. Thermo sensor. Uh, we'll need to remove this now, that's okay. Automation wire goes here. That wire connects all three of these things very elegantly. Then... Well, uh, it's in the... It's in shipping. Here we go. You'll start dumping stuff in here soon enough. Ventilation wise, I can remove that. And the shoot exit will go. Shoot exit will go here. Through the vacuum. And then that goes like that. We're slowly getting the gas pipe done, that's fine. That's at the Sprite 5. And then plastic tiles. Let's continue with these. Set these on Priority 5. I'm going to keep the carpet tiles here. These dupes deserve carpets after all they've been through on this asteroid. I've given them a little bit of a rough time. Uh, blow. Oh, right. Uh, wrong tile. There. Uh... This is going to release a load of Dracos, isn't it? We'll do that one for now. And then this one can go here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the beds in here. Because we actually have some beds over here. The Scalded Dupes. So let's just remove all of this. And then I'll put the Recreation Buildings in here. I'm going to put the Juicer and the Pinch of Pepper, the Espresso Machine in here. We are going to get those online eventually. Once we've done the metal volcanoes, we'll actually have a lot of capacity to do some more of these uh, luxury projects that we haven't got around to doing yet. We'll start giving all the dupes the, all the mod cons. We still have a plug slug in here. Uh, how much hydrogen have we got? This is good. I don't think we've been dumping too much metal in here. Perhaps I should uh, trap this guy in this room. That would be a good idea. Let's make those a priority nine. Because I want to keep at least one plug slug. Because I think we are going to try ranching them just for the heck of it. Yeah, dump salt water in here until we get to like... I don't know, like... 500 kilograms. Can dump more salt water in that, that's fine. We must have swept up a lot of this a long time ago. So, send green signal if above 130, I think is what I was saying. And we built the shoot exit here, but odds are we're going to have this iron volcano sort of... Uh, uh, 
Iron Volcano team is sorted before then, and we're going to have the cool room here with the steam turbines. Also, just to confirm, this gold volcano has an output of about 300 grams per second, um, and this one has an output of about 300 grams per second. So, considering the active periods are similar as well, I don't think we need to change anything about the setup for this one. I think I should be fine. I haven't done the exact calculations on how much uh, cooling we need for this to be self-cooled, but I think one is usually enough. I don't think this is abnormal amounts of gold. But I guess we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to speed to it again. I'm going to dig some more of these tiles. I'm actually just going to come across here. I'm going to remove all this abyssalite, I think. Uh, what's going on here? Right, I think that's the actual base level. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. The main reason I'm removing this is just because I want to make sure the gas flow isn't obstructed. We'll do the same thing over here. I mean, this is all germ-free anyways. Oh, wait. <laughs> These levels are trying to match up. They're not quite matching. Uh, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, we'll clear this whole area at least. Uh, there's still some slime over here. Let's actually just plant the 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 wart seed here. Get rid of this little lump. So then, do that now, do these now. Yeah, look, the situation is okay over here. Some of this material is too hot. So this might spend a while recycling all of this material that's been left in here. That's okay. Ah, we've ended up with some polluted oxygen here. Presumably because something is off-gassing. Right, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. What's on this conveyor then? Just dirt. What is in here that... I've got petroleum in here. I don't want petroleum in here. What do we have in here that could off gas? How irritating. I can remove these and tile the gas out, but I just need to make sure that whatever is in here has been re removed. I didn't even spot this. Actually, that's all reachable. I shouldn't bother sweeping.
Someone should come here in a minute. The amount of gas doesn't seem like it's increasing. Right, you need to put crude oil in here. Bet some got accidentally displaced when we filled this up. Right, so let us tile this up. That should remove the polluted oxygen. There is still some steam in here. This steam won't condense anytime soon, I don't think. Because there's still a lot of heat from this material circulating around. Uh, we'll need to build this one last, though. Ah, uh, that's condensing the steam. Yeah, so that just let one of these polluted oxygen tiles in here. Okay. But if I do that, and then we pour in some more oil, hopefully that will fix this. I don't think all of this steam will condense. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, Charles Darwin's on, on the case. There you go. Well, I thought you were going to do this. Thank you. Right. So, all the polluted oxygen is gone again. Deconstruct these, please. Building. No, don't destroy the conductive wire. There you go. All right, no more, no more gas shenanigans, please. And in the meantime, you guys are presumably doing all of this. Uh, let's see. So the natural gas. The natural gas has come over here to the base. It's very nice. So we'll actually have some some proper grub once we actually get the uh, resources going. That's good. Hearing room full. Oh yeah, hold on. We got some actual Drecos in here again. Let's let's remove them and put them in the reed fiber room. Yeah, there's one. And then you can murder the other guys. It's fine. Right, I feel like we're getting somewhere. Let's remove... Uh, sadly, let's remove this original tile. We'll put some... We'll put some plastic here as well. Here we go. So that can go here. And then this is where we'll have the water consuming recreation buildings. So I'll literally just copy and paste what we've got from the other place. So what do we do? Let's see, we haven't done it here. We've done the recreation buildings differently over here. Again, we've set them all up preemptively. So espresso machine, juicer, soda fountain. Sorty. We'll eventually get these all running. Well, I mean, the soda fountain will run right away because we've already got the CO2 for that. did I do over here? Yeah, I did put the motion sensor there. That's correct. But in terms of power, that's 480. I don't think this is over 2 kilowatts. Maybe it is. 
that's 480 watts. This is 480 watts. So I think the juicer is less. The juicer is 120. So we can't quite run all of this stuff at the same time. But we can connect this one down here. That's fine. And then we'll want some regular water to go in there. This asteroid does not have water sources. But we'll uh, consume this water for now. To get rid of this water at some point. So we'll feed that here. What am I doing? Get rid of that. We'll put it in here as well, but I don't think these will see any use. At least not immediately. Yeah, room looks more or less done. Uh, we need to we need to rebuild the stuff that was in here. So the auto sweeper and the liquid vent. Let's see. We haven't been filling this one. That's okay. No more. There's no more salt water. I see. Okay. Well, what I'll do then is I'll build a. I want to get rid of... Which one do I want to get rid of? I mean, this one's right next to the... This one's right next to the fire pole. Let's do this one. Let me just do the blind. Indeed it. Did the task. Put that here. This abyss light is quite hot, so I probably shouldn't dig any more of it up. That's okay, we can sweep this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this room's going. It looks like all the natural gas... I mean, this vent, is, this vent isn't working at the moment. I think we could start pumping the natural gas from the atmosphere into here. But I want to clear out the rest of these tiles first. Also, it looks like we've been leaking gases out of here for ages. This liquid here is all gone. Ooh. I think at this point, um, what exactly is the plan over here? I need to rethink this whole area, because at the moment we're letting all this gas out into space. I mean, that's one way of dealing with the slime lung, but that's not really what I wanted to... This is like oxygen that we should be reusing. I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to remove this. We need to move this exit down here. And then I need to actually put a transit tube joint plate in. That's what we need to do. Let's get that done. Stop leaking gases into space. And that that ladder can stay there. I'll put the joint plate here. And remove these. Make this let's make this priority nine.
Yeah, this is gonna be priority nine. And then that can go here. This can go down here. It's not perfect, but it's better than what we're gonna do. Yeah, because I left three tiles of space here. I'm going to move this over a little bit. We might actually move the fire pole eventually and put the transit tube. Yeah, let's move this one over. I was indecisive now, that's for sure. Yeah. Put that there, then that can go like this. Blink plate can go here. And that can go like that. And then the wire. So that wire is going there. That can go down here. This can be a bridge. We'll eventually rationalize this whole area. I'll move this petroleum somewhere else. Oh, we need to sweep this stuff here as well. Oh, that's the lime that they're all making. So I'm going to need to auto sweep that out of here. Turn this thing off. <laughs> uh, well, we can put that here. Figure something out with that. What a load of crap. There you go. And then uh, we can put that... I mean, for now... I don't really want to spend too long on this. But now I'm literally just going to tell it to dump it. Uh, I should actually send this back to the payload launcher. Send the line back to the other planet, maybe. But for now, I'm just going to dump it up here. <laughs> Whatever. And then that should stop the that should stop the plate from being triggered all the time. Unfortunately, there's no way to stop me from being triggered all the time. It's okay. I'm not looking forward to my work meeting tomorrow, but. It'll be alright, I'll sort everything out. I'll be a professional adult. How is the sulfur situation? Has this machine broke again? No, good. Looks like all of the uh, gas evaporated. That'll do. Oh, looks like uh, looks like the sulfur has actually been overflowing for a while now. Okay. So we're losing about 10 cycles worth of sulfur because of the shenanigans where this wasn't running properly. Hmm. It's probably possible for me to widen this out. But I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> we need to get uh, this other stuff done first. Yeah, rebuild all of this. Well, at least that will work. Salt water can be dumped in here. 
You know, you can dump Brian in here, actually. Let's, let's dump Brian in this one. Team Turbine's being kept nice and cool by all this liquid from this area that we're slowly pumping out. I guess this will get rid of all this stuff here too. It's fine. So we're going to have to do space travel again at some point. So we still want to go to this asteroid to grab some Arbor Acorns and then we can do pips. And then if we want to do anything nuclear we'd have to go to this asteroid. We have a swampy ore field where we can collect more polluted dirt. Um, so this is something I actually forgot about but if we ever run out of polluted dirt on this asteroid we can mine it from space pretty efficiently. But that's something to consider. We've got the gassy moves. What achievements? Oh, what are the achievements related to critters again? Is there a critter related achievement I haven't got? I feel like there might be. No, it's the seeds one. I'm sure I've done the. Uh... I'm sure I've done this one before. Also, hold on. Hold the fuck. What is this saying? Oh yeah, so the Sweetles and Rubrums don't count towards Critter Whisperer, so it only thinks that we've obtained a Draco so far. Nice. That's mean. Uh, just put everything in here, that's fine. You'll get the lime eventually. This will be done once they dump some water in it. So next up is the iron is the iron machine. Let's uh let's rationalize this stuff over here. Get rid of all this random stuff. Random dirt tile. Yeah, get this planted as well. Speed it up a little bit. Can you believe we've only been here for three cycles? <laughs> no, four cycles today. Feels like we've done a lot in four cycles. Just need to make sure this doesn't overflow. Don't think we're at risk of that at the moment. This should start cooling down this stuff a lot, so it should get dumped a bit faster outside. Yeah, you guys can just start digging all of this. <laughs> so we've got the cobalt volcano down here as well. This is currently active. Um I'll start this tamer once it goes dormant. We'll get the iron one done first, and we'll make that non-self-cooled. And we'll have like a cooled steam room where the metal goes into. So there'll be some maths to do with that. How am I going to lay this out? I would like a fire pole here. If possible. I'm 
Because eventually, eventually we're going to remove stuff in here and we're going to fit other stuff in this bit. I think this is where I'll keep the ladders in the end. I'll just keep it in line with the base. This one won't line up properly because it'll go over the, the vents down here. So we'll keep that one slightly separate. But I think this makes sense because what we can do is we can put the, the liquid lock here. Keep these relative to the... We can make the steam room three high here, so this should match up with the base. Make that a... That liquid lock. Pick this. And then I think what will happen is I'll have a steam turbine here. And this is on five tiles of deuterium. I guess it's because it's spawned in a meta in that formation on this asteroid where you have the refined gold. It's fair enough. Okay, I think that's enough liquid for now. In fact, that's probably too much liquid. Let's see what happens when this erupts next. I imagine that tile is blocked, but the salt water will let it erupt. If not, we may need to sweep some of the salt water. But yeah, we'll put the steam turbine here. I think if we have it with the Aqua Tuna working, two should be okay. I haven't done the maths for this in a while. You might this might become a maths stream. I think this as well. Yeah, that's all priority eight, that's okay. Then we'll want a actually we'll want a vacuum lock in here too, won't we? Okay, let's let's change that slightly. Yeah. So what we'll do <laughs> we'll cheat a little bit, because it's gonna be three high. We'll do it like this. We'll... We don't actually need to build those. But it looks kinda weird. I like leaving the bottle empties there normally so we can refill it, but we're not leaving them here for this, so we'll build them and then we'll we'll put the tiles in just because I like it. And we can remove them if we ever need to. That's not what I wanted to do. Also, pro tip, steam turbines we build out of lead. They don't overheat uh, in the conventional sense. If they get too hot, they stop working, but they don't take damage. So you can make them out of lead. I'm not really sure why that's a thing. To be honest. Right. That's what this is going to look like. And then what we'll do, this will be vacuum sealed. We'll put the chute for all the metal in here. This is where all of our refined metal is going to end up going. But we'll get we'll get this shell built first, and then we'll uh, think about everything else. Ugh. Yeah, that's way too much water in there now. Uh, I'm going to stop on this one too. What's in the board? No farters, I'll take some swap card then. 
we still haven't really set up a farm on this planet. We just dumped 3 million calories of, bris of barbecue in the freezer with this poke shell. And that's what we've done ever since. Also, what is the situation with the puffed eggs? They ever actually get sent over? Have we got puffs floating around in space? We do not. I think I'm just going to tell them to stop shifting over puffed eggs because I don't think that's they're actually getting moved. Launch path blocked. The block by the solar panel or the tile? There are obstructions in the launch trajectory of this interplanetary launcher. Bullet point zero. What? Hello? It's probably the solar panel. But what about a neutral only? Yeah, we don't have a solar panel there. We have transit tubes, but not a solar panel. I guess this would actually block it, wouldn't it? I get the feeling this is probably never actually fired. I feel like it must have fired at one point, though. It, it must have fired before we built those solar panels. Uh, you can stop sending lead over as well. I think I... Yeah, okay. Here you go. Stop sending lead. We have enough lead. Let's speed this up. You got a lot of work to do. Slime is dead over here. That's good. Germ wise. Go through here. Yeah, that's okay. Fire pole can come down here. Actually, you know what? Don't worry about the fire pole after this, because we might build the aluminium volcano tamer here. I think the cobalt table will fit in here. The aluminium one might go out a little bit if it's self-cooled. I think I'll, I'll, I'm going to try and do them self cool when I can. But this one where all the metal ends up being dumped after getting to steam temperature will be Aquatuna cooled. Remove the vent, please. How is the natural gas going in here? So it looks like the natural gas in here is actually blocked. It's not moving fast enough with the door pump to fully depressurize this. Which is not good. Perhaps a high pressure vent will work there. Oh, actually, let's remove these tiles. We can do that now. I speed this up. I don't think I... I set it to red one. I think that is quick enough for it to register as closed. Yeah, that might speed up a little bit. Okay, good. This is all evaporated again. That's good. I think... Why isn't this working? 
Ah, this could be melted. Looks like we'll have to make this one out of steel too. That could be a priority nine. my music up loud enough. It did. It just seems very quiet. Yeah, there's phosphorus out of here. I think we'll make these four out of the steel. Dig this up now as well. Then we can remove this. You don't have unreachable toilets, you lie. Base temperature is still pretty hot. We do need to put in a proper cooling loop. At some point for this room. So, is the carbon dioxide actually making it to the skimmer? I feel like it very occasionally is. But it looks like most of it is just being pumped out instead, which makes sense because the pump is here and the carbon dioxide is ending up over here. I disabled this coal power a while ago. I think I need to just put another carbon skimmer over here. That's not a problem. Let's just put a bridge here. Then do it like that. And do that like that. That should be okay. And then wire goes Yeah. That should get rid of the calm dioxide. And then this skimmer will get rid of the calm dioxide from this side of the base, which is still probably gonna be substantial because the dupes will hang out here a lot. Cool. You know, I actually get this base stuff done first. Two Dracos. Wait, 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 wait. Stop fertilizing these. <laughs> We're not growing these anymore, damn it. <laughs> we, uh. The polluted water. What's going on with the polluted water? We filled up that cooling loop. Oh, I see what the issue is. Right, so. Deconstruct this. And then reconnect this back here. And then we'll refill those thimble reeds. We have loads of fertilizer. Not a problem. He think, <laughs> look at him, he thinks he's being productive. These ain't being fertilized, we need more dirt. Start sending dirt again. There you go. Yes, I do eventually want to go and grab some arbor acorns and we're gonna put a pip ranch up here. And this is where we're going to make dirt for this colony. We're going to get rid of this eventually. 
Right. Blue water. Come over here. Feed these plants. It's coming in slightly too cold, but we're heating it up in the natural gas room a little bit. There you go. Now this will actually grow. And we'll get rid of all this blue water, which was the real aim. Now I can already see There's some regular water in here again now. And some petroleum. Okay. You know what? Just, what? just, just finish. Just finish that. Stop. Stop doing this. We've got plenty of reed fiber. We've got 500 reed fiber. Let's leave that alone for now. So again, we'll just do these with crude oil just to make sure that it uh, forms a vacuum. Nobody fart in the vacuums. Okay. It's irritating. There we go. You don't have enough plastic. Right. Just, oh, just cancel that. There we go. That'll do. You'll slowly remember that you have all plastic. That's fine. Yeah, these dupes have been looking forward to this soda fountain for a while. You can sweep these two. It's okay. these tiles that's not a problem sometimes it looks like there's germs in these tiles but it's just the texture for these tiles spilling over Leonardo is doing his best well, that sure is a lot of a bit slide and slime you're digging up. Yeah, I've been doing the dupes skill points off stream, just like before I start recording each episode, because I get the feeling you guys don't want to see me go through the skill point screen. At this point, the choices don't really matter. We have enough dupes to do everything. So I'm not really going to worry about it. Also, um, I want to get some thoughts. I wanted to do some highlight videos of my previous runs. Because I realized that the video run I did when I first started streaming had some really good builds in it, some really funny moments. But not too many of you guys were around uh, back then. So I'd like to do a highlight video of that, so you guys can see all the best moments from that run. Uh, we don't need to sweep this up, actually. This is gonna... That's gonna get dug. We can sweep this up. But yeah, the Iridio run, maybe a little bit of the Vedante run. I don't know, like... Because I haven't really made... I haven't really started turning these VODs into, like, edited YouTube videos. Like, the sort of Francis John style thing. And I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to have time to do that. But I think one hour long edited video per run is something I can handle. And I think it'd be nice to have a way of summarizing all the stuff we do on those runs. Unlike this run. 
Hey Fungus, how you doing? Hold on. I've still got your emotes. Oh no, do I not have your emotes anymore? I think I was prime sub to you. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to prime sub to you again. I'll, I'll do. I'll do what I next. I'll do what I next catch you streaming. I'm sad. I was. I was. I was so gonna respond with those. How's your run going, anyways? What's your dupe count now? Have you got like 230 dupes or something? I never remember to do my prime so. Yeah, you need to build this conveyor rail. You need to do that for a while. And of course you grab the like the hot gold instead of the colder gold. 234. You're you're a mad lad. You're actually doing it. Like I pretended that I was uh Oh I I thought naively I was gonna get to four hundred dupes before my computer imploded. <laughs> And it did not quite happen. Is your computer has your computer uploaded yet? People did seem to like the uh, the video I did about it, like the the the, oil, the explanation of the oil guide. I'm very tempted to do a video about the arbitrary production line as well at some point. I think Leofar knows more about me, uh, more about that than me though. I might need to interview Leofar. To get him to like sign off on the video. Because that's something else I haven't really messed around with too much in this game is massive ethanol projects. I think I think it's because I tried doing that at the start before I really knew what I was doing, and I just choked out all of my dupes with all the carbon dioxide because I thought I could do it in the base. But yeah, let's make sure that we're delivering the carbon dioxide here. Same with this, if we actually build anything here. PC is fine with the updated hardware. Nice. Oh my god. Look at this Pip statue. Look how smug he is. That is a very apt title for that statue. I love that mod. Growth halted. Why? Oxygen uh, atmosphere. We still need more oxygen. We tried our best. But at least these suits are completely full now. That's good. So, they seem to be overpressurizing a little bit. I feel like the water may not be helping. Uh, this one is doing fine. I think I just need to make sure the water layer actually fully covers this. I need to make sure that it's polluted water so it's still off-gassing. Right, so temporarily. How much polluted water have we got here now? Yeah, we're going to have less because... We're still trying to split it 50-50. Okay, there you go. Stop that. So now that's all spread over. This is running... Ah, there we go. So now the uptime has increased. Good. Because if we look at this machine, if we look at... percentage uptime... So this one has been running at more or less 100% uptime. Um, apart from the issues we had with <laughs> the, the temperature, etc. This one has been running at like 57% uptime. Because it wasn't fully covered by the water. Now it is. So, more oxygen. More asbestos. Yeah, the space is getting cleared out pretty quickly. Is 
This is not this is not um this is not running quickly enough. We aren't able to feed in the natural gas from both of these at the same time through this mechanized airlock. Feels bad. What can I do? What can I do about that? I could put in another one. That'd be kind of difficult to fit in this room. I feel like we never had this issue with the... Actually, you know what? Let's just change this into a high pressure vent. That might be enough. Because even if the pressure increases over here, the higher the pressure, the more effective this is. So it might actually still be enough. Let's do that now. Confirm that that's alright. So we're making some fertilizer over here. That's where some of this polluted water is going. Also, it looks like this is all just polluted water now. That's convenient. Let's make that... Oh. We need more plastic. Whiskers, stop farting. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that on the reflection on my stream. On, on my screen. Bedwell overpressure at 5 kilograms. Yeah, but what... So what I'm thinking is... So this door... I mean, the vent will keep pressurizing this room until it tries to get to above 5 kilograms. Um, I'll put an atmo sensor here. So that it doesn't... It stops at 5 kilograms. But I think... It will actually handle the throughput with that increased pressure threshold. Let's put it here. No, not like, not like that. Ah. Because um, this door moves the gas over as it fills up. And the higher the pressure is, the more gas will fill in this door. So I think this sensor won't ever trip. But we can have the sensor in there as a backup. You're really out of plastic now. You finished that. That's good. Uh, you can remove this eventually. I'm not going to bother yet. Priorities. What is going on and where? That wire needs to be built. We are just kind of out of plastic. Have we been shipping it all back? I think that's what's been happening. We've been shipping it all back. We've been trying. It still says launch path blocked. I'm not sure it is. Well, we haven't been sending... So, okay, right. Here's a question. Probably a very daft question. We built solar panels over the top of the uh, payload launcher. Is that what's stopping it from launching? Because it just says bullet point zero here, which is not very handy. I can remove one of these. I can remove one of these solar panels. Uh, let's do that now. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Let's just put it there. And then deconstruct this. Make that all priority nine. And then we'll build ladders over there. So these are too hot now. So why isn't this running? Uh, because this was never looping because the pipe was full. Well, that's not very handy. Move Uno pipe segment. There you go. 
Now you're sluggering again. And I think we need to do some mix of over here. No, this is okay. This should start running now. I can't believe this literally never run. Wonder how I mean this is sealed now, so we should have some heat conduction going on with these metal tiles. Probably not gonna be a huge amount. Uh but yeah, so it still says launch path blocked. Is it both of these? It's annoying if that's the case. Annoying. Also, we've got more principles, so I keep forgetting about them. Uh, no farces, that's fine. We've got plenty of dupes for now. Oh, hold on, look at this. Yeah, so now it's now it's active again. So the solar panels do in fact block the payload launcher. That kind of makes sense. I'll allow that one. So yeah, rebuild these just to make sure everything's working again. Oh, wait. I'm a fool. <laughs> we have the rocket here. We can't have this stuff over here. Uh. <laughs> Louis is just like, I can't believe you're telling me to deconstruct this again. We'll just put it over here, whatever. Whatever. That's fine. Right, you're still building all this stuff, that's good. Uh, you can deconstruct these ladders, that's okay. Right, let's see. So the gas up here is just polluted oxygen. That's all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the polluted... all the... gas up here and shove it up here, because we want this room depressurized. Is the oxygen... the oxygen probably is not the best gas for now. We want this to be a decently conductive gas. Let's just vent all the gases out of both of these. Uh, so in fact, let's cancel that steam turbine. We'll fill these up. Uh, build a storage bin here. We'll fill this room with hydrogen. I think that will be important. And we'll dump a load of liquid in here too. This will take a little bit of work. I'm not sure we're going to get this finished today. Yeah, deconstruct all of this. This water is keeping the gases sealed over here, so that's okay. Right, we got some plastic again. That's good. Let's build the high pressure gas vent. Get that to work. So send green signal if below 5,000. I think that should be fine. So this stuff over here will need to go onto its own spine. These steam turbines will need to go onto their own power spine. So they can go in here. What exactly is that going to look like? Set this to priority 7. I think it's going to look something like this. Y 
Why are you in here? Get out. Get out. We don't want you out here farting. Bug, that bug is annoying. This is becoming a right mess. So let's see. That will go there. Then I think it makes sense to bring it up here. Over here. And now I'm going to bring it this way. I like spaghetti. Yum yum yum. That will do. You can remove this. And that will be good enough for these steam turbines. Right, you can stop putting crude oil in there. Need to enable auto bottle on these. That could be sweep only all. Already nine. Uh, we need to get anything out of here that could off-gas. Or otherwise turn into gas. Where do we even put phosphorus? You know, I'll dump it in here. Just dump the phosphorus in here. We'll deal with it later. Right now this is working. The room is pressurizing more, but this door is pressurizing more as well. So hopefully it will keep up. Yeah, one second red time is fine for that. We'll increase this to nine seconds. Then it should fill up completely. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Neo Rezo Gaming is getting that uh, that sweet Pepsi action going on. Nice. <laughs> yeah, these dupes are finally able to actually enjoy themselves without worrying about power or uh, starvation or peeing themselves or the uh, polluted oxygen being too warm. Stuff is being fixed slowly. Let's speed up again. What have we got here? More phosphorus. Ah, oh, looks like you're actually loading all of the all of the spiffy overalls in there now. Okay. Is there anyone missing them? So three cubed, Archimigas, Lyra, and Leonardo. So no oh Leonardo is missing one. Right. Uh how do I empty this? I think I can empty it, can I? I'll just tell you to stop loading them and we'll make another one. Oh, we don't have a aesthetic design <laughs> skill over here. Whatever. Whatever. Do 
But yeah, you can see how the Drekkers have really heated this area up. But the hydrogen pressure is what's being annoying here. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this hydrogen again, aren't I? I feel like we're still struggling to get this base up to pressure. I think, I think the actual answer is... The oxygen is still getting everywhere, because if it's trying to get to the... If it's trying to get to this pipe... It is still coming out. It's just being vented... Here instead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more spaghetti in here just to make sure that if these suits are full that the gas actually goes into these instead of just hanging out in this pipe. So I don't want anything to block up. Let's just extend all of these. And then we'll send that back down here. And then that can go over here. And then we'll just connect it onto the main vent stack here. And then that should vent all of this evenly to the base. Eventually. Yeah. So now the polluted oxygen is building up in here properly because this is submerged. And these deodorizers are running as fast as they can. So this is actually giving us... It's actually giving us 540 rams of oxygen each from these machines. That's not a huge amount of oxygen. So no wonder we're kind of barely making enough oxygen. Like, we literally have... We have 10 dupes here. I mean, this should be enough oxygen. But it's not, it's not as much production as I thought it would be. You guys are doing all right. We have dumped too much oil into here. <laughs> well, that still counts as a vacuum. We didn't need to dump this much oil in here, but whatever. <laughs> vacuum achieved. Uh, so let's vacuum these two rooms out. Doesn't really matter what we make this out of. And that can just go... That I that wire can go here. Uh, we can remove this now. That's fine. These have definitely not been my neatest wires. That is that is very true. And we will want to dump some hydrogen in here. Let's actually... Actually send this pipe... Here. And then I'll build a... I'll fill this with loads of hydrogen. Because we have loads of hydrogen up here. I can, I can rearrange that a little bit.
So non-hydrogen can go in here. Yeah. That's the general that's the general vent. So let's actually just send this up here. So the polluted oxygen is that gonna be slimy? That doesn't look like it's gonna have slime lung in it. You know what I'll do? I am going to be I'm going to be a silly billy. Put the wheeze wart here. And then any oxygen that comes into the base from here should be A cooler and B free of any slime lung. Let's actually put it here. What are you guys up to at the moment? At the moment you're all going to the bathroom. I guess I've given you a decent amount of stuff to do. This wire can be level six. It's fine. Yeah. So I don't think this is going to be working today. Um, it's not going to be active for at least 40 cycles. So that gives us time to do some maths and confirm that two steam turbines will be enough um, to actively cool everything with an aqua tuner. And then if that's the case, then we'll just hook these up as self-cooled down here. And then we can hook hydrogen up as well. The hydrogen is actually pretty close to this, but I don't think it's quite close enough that we'd consider combining these. I think we'll still make this its own separate thing. But I'll have a think about how exactly I want that to look. Let's see. So... Disconnect that first. Set this to 0 0.1 grams. That is full of hydrogen, so that's good. You can disable that temporarily. Put the put the wheeze water here for now. And then this hydrogen will come down here and run in here and pressurize this whole chamber once it's been vented be good to get that done today look how much hydrogen has just ended up here from all these plug slugs we have trapped our one plug slug friend in here also looks like our carbon skimmer has worked properly so that's decreased Natural gas is still quite high in here, but that's just because the oxygen pressure isn't very high. But yeah, now the oxygen from the suits is being recirculated. Uh, although... This is kind of not intended behavior. I mean, I guess if it's filling all these suits, it's fine. That really wasn't what I expected. Okay, this is this is this is kind of stupid. This should not look like this.
what should be happening here is... Something else. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. Bridge that, and then put a bridge here, and then cancel that. So it should fill the docks first, and then if it, and then if the docks are full, it will recirculate back onto the loop, go back down, and start again. Okay, that's good. Okay, priority nine. This. Get rid of that annoying pipe. This gas pump is overheated. That checks out. Let's make this out of steel. Makes sense. So let's see. We have hydrogen going around this. That's good. So and enable this. The polluted oxygen can go in here and get filtered out by the deodorizers because we're going to have deodorizers. We have deodorizers over here. And I may actually just put a couple of deodorizers down here just for now. There you go. That will help with that. Running out of power because this line is overloading. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This shouldn't be hooked up to this. Yeah, no. That needs to go... Needs to go somewhere else. Transformer shenanigans. Oh, no, that needs to connect onto this wire up here. That's what needs to. So... Just send that here. Yeah, that's okay. So these transformers are almost unflooded. That's good. Speed up again. This should not be connected onto this. That should just be connected directly here. And then... This gas cup... This <laughs> gas pump is made of steel. And then we're gonna dump... What liquid are we gonna dump in here? I think it's gonna be petroleum. So dump the petroleum in there, please. We have relatively little oil, so let's just do petroleum. Is there a difference in conductivity between these? I don't think there is. They're both two. Petroleum is a little bit of a higher heat capacity. So it probably is better for this. That will help with the gas pumping too. Build that. Why is that overloading again? Oh, this is the same line. Why is this the same line? There's way too many things on this line. <laughs> and we have like 10 gas pumps on this line. No wonder we're not getting the full up time on this. Because this stuff is going to be always running pretty much. I think I literally need to take this machine here 
and completely separate it. You can have it plug into this thing here, but I don't think it can handle anything else. So this needs to go onto a different line. So probably this line. So that can come down here. Next up with this. Should be alright. Meantime, we can keep getting rid of these tiles. <laughs> Poor Rover is covered in, covered in slime land. Yeah, this appears to be working properly. So this this room has vented fully now, and the gas pressure has stayed below five kilograms in here, because this effectiveness is proportional to the amount of pressure. So that was the correct thing to do. Then this can be dug out here. What are you guys up to? Build the wire. Three cubes in the skill point. It's fine, we'll we'll deal with those later. To be honest, we played pretty much on speed one and speed two, so we're not actually missing out on that much by not skilling up the dupes until the start of every stream, or like in between streams. The polluted oxygen volume in here is pressurized a little bit. Okay, this seems to be working now. That's good. So, gas pressure in here is reducing. Slime lung, no, get it out of here. <laughs> uh, let's auto bottle the petroleum. What's in the pod? No more farters. What a shame. Uplet. Uh, let's put that over here. There you go. Have a pufflet. And I think we're just going to murder all these little hatches. And then hopefully that guy will um, lay an egg at some point. hearing some shiny noises. Why? Oh, the Sparkle Streaker. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we ain't doing hatches this run. Food has decayed. You have not cooked enough food. That is fine. <laughs> we have about 2 million calories over here. Uh, 1.5 million over here, and then we've got the 2.4 million over here that we sent from uh, the flipped asteroid ages ago. So I'm not too worried about food. Random water. Get out of here. These water's trying its best. So... We are now venting a load of hydrogen into the base because <laughs> I didn't set this up to bump. Right, okay. That, that makes sense.
I have become error. <laughs> Filling the base with more hydrogen. I'm actually gonna have to put a, a gas pump up here, aren't I? Again. How annoying. Well, we'll let that all settle, and then we'll decide what to do with it. We need to get this gas out of here first. And then... And then pump the hydrogen in from the map. There's still plenty of hydrogen here. Yes, bring me your petroleum. We want to make absolutely sure this roof is cold. What I'll do as well is I'm actually going to build some temperature plates in here. And we're going to make these out of... Granite. So whatever we dump in here is going to have the temperature plate acting between the petroleum and the stuff here. With hydrogen. Uh, let's grab another Draco. So this room is finally full of Dracos, which is nice. We've definitely overcomplicated some things over here. Right, gas situation. Looks like all the gas has gone from this room now. Okay, that's good. So now we can disconnect. Well, we can deconstruct this. And then we can connect up the this pipe here. And then reconnect this. Do not bring off, bring anything in here that off gases, please. Looks like gas is getting pretty low in here too. So, gas pump has been removed. We can hook this up, start filling with hydrogen. So the hydrogen can enter this loop here where there's a little bit of hydrogen running around because of the valve. The hydrogen get, comes out here and all the other gases go up here, which is good because we want oxygen from outside the map to eventually end up in our base. And any polluted oxygen we get, we can deodorize a little bit. We've got some deodorizers here. Uh, I'll put in a couple more. This isn't long term, but we might as well grab all of the oxygen from outside the map. We have a wheeze water here, so that should be getting rid of any slime lung germs that come by. Emphasis on should. This <laughs> this wire situation is just getting silly. I'm gonna have to, I'm actually gonna have to like rationalize these wires off stream. Because like it's not even making sense to me anymore. And I don't want to do that for like a whole stream. <laughs> right, so we've got hydrogen in here now. We'll get this up to 20 kilograms per tile of pressure. We're Choosing hydrogen because it is the most, it is the gas with the highest heat capacity. Now, is there a more thermally conductive gas? Gases generally are not very thermally conductive. I think hydrogen's thermal conductivity is pretty good. Let me select the gas. Yeah. Natural gases thermal conductivity is not very good. So we definitely want the hydrogen in this case. Yeah, I think hydrogen's going to be the best we have. And 
and then let's murder some more Dracos. These guys are always worthy of murder. So we have a hundred kilograms of petroleum in here. Then we'll uh, remove this, we'll put the other steam turbine in. And then we'll actually get some plumbing sorted for this. Yeah, I think we can get the layout finished for this today, but I'll need to do some maths to check it. But I think we should be alright with two fully Aquatuna cooled steam turbines. So we'll have the volcano here, and we'll have the, the Aquatuna here. And then that should split the heat somewhat evenly between them. I think the volcano will produce a little bit more heat than this will. So to get the max power of this, this room will be set to 200, 200 degrees. Using the Thermo Aqua Tuna to cool everything in here. Nice pink room. Yeah, set those to priority 9 so we can actually filter that gas. Are these set to priority 9? No, I think they just ended up being done over time. Set these to priority 9 as well now that we're actively pumping boosted oxygen into. I think, perhaps, we could put another deodorizer in each of these bits. I think it's possible. Let's do it. Oh, wait. That's going to let all the water out. Hmm. That's why we haven't done it. Whatever, we'll leave this. This is fine. I'm not going to fiddle around with that anymore. Right, that's enough petroleum in there. Get rid of this. Get rid of this now. We've got a vacuum in here. That's all good. So the pipe can be completely removed too. Get rid of all of this. Now we need to start thinking about the actual conveyor loop in here. So unlike these ones, yeah, actually we'll, we'll set up we'll set up the conveyor loop like these ones. So remove this conveyor itself. will just go like I'm told to steel. Oh, I, I probably told them to deconstruct it. That's fine. And then this gold one can go. Yeah. That's the shut off. And that's the bridge, and then that's that. Oh, we can't do the bridge into the neutronium. <laughs> Crap. We'll have to rethink that slightly. Uh that's okay, we can figure something out. I guess this will look slightly different then. Let's get rid of this stuff first. So 
So auto sweeper goes here. Is there a reason for me to not just put this over here? Yeah, I'm going to put this directly over the volcano to assert dominance. This needs to be made of steel. We need to send some more steel over. Do we have any over here? No. We need to send more steel from this planet. Which is where we're making all the steel. I can go... Stop sending dirt for now. Send steel. Send dudes. <laughs> um, and then payload steel onto here. We should actually make um, an industrial sauna over here. But on the other hand, the dupes on this asteroid need something to do, so they can make the steel. Let's actually, let's actually try and do this keeping the bottle empty here, because I want to have the option of refilling it if needed. It doesn't look that silly. Mm. Hey, Canadian Black Wolf. How you doing? Uh, this game, compared to DSP, um, one thing I would say is it's a lot harder to survive. <laughs> like in DSP, it's it's kind of like you're, you're racing to get stuff done, building your factory. In this game, like if you overextend, your dupes will die. Like, you've got to worry about oxygen, you've got to worry about food, you've got to worry about heat management. Um, resources are all quite limited. Um, if you if you print off too many dupes, they'll consume resources fast and you can produce them at first. So you need to be careful in what you're doing. Don't print off too many dupes and take everything in a measured approach. But it's a lot of fun. It's, um, it's very, it's very challenging. Like, I played this, this is my main game. I played it for about 1,650 hours, and I'm still often making mistakes. Um, so it's very challenging. It's like... That's the main reason I play it, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. A thousand plus hours. Yeah, this is my main game. We, uh, we like our spaghetti over here as well. We have lots of pipe spaghetti. Yeah, uh, we're doing a challenge run at the moment where we started on an asteroid. Um, so our dupe started over here. We've dug out most of these asteroids, to be honest, but we started on this asteroid where the surface was covered in magma. So we had to tunnel our way out of the magma and then and then launch rockets and uh, explore the other slightly more habitable asteroids for water and other resources. Uh, so we got three asteroids that we're kind of demolishing at the moment. Uh, we're going to go to a fourth one at some point soon, but there's no there's no urgent rush on that. How do you start and how does the game end? So you start in like a sort of natural environment. Um, you, you literally start with the printing pod and your three duplicates come out. Also, I need to get rid of this oil. Uh, and then murder these guys. There you go. Um, and you just tunnel your way out of the map and extract resources, like build like bathrooms, bedrooms, recreation rooms, kitchens, that sort of stuff. So that your dupes can grow enough food to sustain themselves. Uh, we've got some critter ranches as well. Like we're ranching these little Drecos. So these ones have like little uh, reed fibers on their back you can shear them for. We use those to make uh, exosuits that we can use to explore hot zones or oxygen free zones in and then these ones up here um, have scales that produce plastic so then we can use that to make plastic stuff like tiles for the base and things so we're ranching these critters and then of course we're eating them as well and that's how we're getting a lot of our food like we've got 1.5 million calories up here and most of that most of that is left over gristleberry but the dupes are eating a lot of barbecue as well we were growing some plants here but we uh 
We're not currently feeding them. Yeah, all of our food ends up in this freezer which we made. So, um, we got some natural gas running around this pipe. Uh, that's cooled down to minus 35 by this <laughs> thermoregulator. The heat is getting put out into the rest of the map here. And then that food is staying nice and cold and sterile in the carbon dioxide room. But yeah, there's, there's lots of gas and liquid management. There's quite a lot of physics going on. It's not particularly realistic physics, but it is very fun physics. So, um, worth doing. Like here, we've got a hot steam vent. So we've got some steam turbines that are sucking the heat out of this and turning it into power. And then we're taking the cooled down water from these steam turbines and we're feeding it to a load of electrolyzers in here. And those are turning all that water into hydrogen and oxygen. And then the oxygen is being cooled down uh, by some machines over here, like this one here. And being pumped into the base and all the Atmo suits. But yeah, <laughs> this game is a real rabbit hole. There's so much stuff to do. The devs are constantly adding more content. Um, there's one DLC, but the base game without the DLC is still a very full-fledged experience. You don't need to get the DLC at all. We're playing with the DLC, and that adds stuff like traveling to these other asteroids and like the radiation mechanics. So eventually you'll be able to make like a nuclear power plant and stuff. A research reactor. We haven't actually done that yet. Like I'm 1,650 hours into the game and I've hardly done any of the DLC stuff. <laughs> that says, that should say how much content there is in this game. Uh, it's fantastic. And Clay, Clay a lovely, um, Clay's a lovely uh, team as well. I got my, I got my puff from down there. <laughs> I got my puff from their Kickstarter and that was fun. But yeah, what we're doing at the moment, oh my god, look. You've got a Dreco, you've got a Dreco themed balloon. That's very cool. I haven't actually seen these Dreco themed balloons before. Hello Spartan TV, how you doing? Like your little heart emote there. So our current goal, there's loads of volcanoes on this asteroid that are, that will produce lots of hot metal, hot refined metal that we want to use for all our building stuff. Because so far what we were doing is we were refining all our metal manually using this metal refinery. And that takes a lot of power and it consumes metal ore. And there's a limited amount of metal ore on the map. Until you start harvesting it from space, but we're not doing that yet. So what we're doing, these volcanoes generate it for free, but it's just really hot. So you have to tame it and get it down to a reasonable temperature. And so far we've not really done that. We just, we just opened up the volcanoes and let them erupt onto the map and uh, built all the stuff in the base with gold, which has relatively little heat energy. So it cooled down pretty quickly. And all the really hot metal was left out here and used to build stuff outside the base where it wouldn't overheat. This asteroid was originally very cold, but you wouldn't know it. We've heated it up a lot over the last 200 cycles. Also, there's this whole volcanic zone down here that I haven't touched yet. We got these big we got these big pools of salt water and polluted water from across the map as we've demolished it. Like this is what the map normally looks like. Like you've got like these little caves, they're full of these different materials. We've got some puffed lazily floating around in here, some plants. But we we've basically torn down the whole map on these asteroids. We're uh we're not preserving very much nature. We do actually have a nature reserve over here. <laughs> We preserved these four plants, uh, so that counts as a nature reserve for our dupes. <laughs> and, and of course we preserved Silly Device's um, Bissellite Square. And then we also have a nature reserve on this asteroid. We got these little plants here. But we, uh, we did no such thing on this asteroid. We've We've really been devastating this asteroid. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. I'm really glad you've been enjoying Dyson Sphere Program as well. I'm enjoying that a lot and I'm going to be doing that again tomorrow. Anyways, so this room is filling up with hydrogen. We have built the conveyor rail here. Now I actually need to build the second steam turbine. This volcano is going to erupt in 40 cycles, so we're trying to get everything ready 
for when it erupts. Uh, we can remove that wire. And then what I was going to do was I was going to put the I was going to put the shut off here. So this, for some reason, doesn't overheat, so we can make this out of gold. We need an element, uh, we need a conveyor rail thermo sensor here. So this is going to detect when the material in here is cool enough to move into the next room. Put some automation wire in for that. And then we're going to have the conveyor loader as well. So this shutoff uses yeah, this shutoff uses 10 watts each time it activates, so it doesn't really matter what we do. So over here. We want the conveyor lo uh, loader port to be right next to the green port for the shutoff. Or a bridge rather, so that we can get the loop circulating. But we want to make sure that the, the bridge output is first on the loop. So what we can do is we can do it like this. So it will come out on the bridge first, so the loop will circulate first, and then if the loop is empty it will load on from the loader. That's how that will work. The bridge priority is a little bit weird. Right, so that's that. Uh, then we need a sweeper to actually move the material in there. We don't really want this to overheat. This should be fine. We can put it here. And then I'm realizing I'm running out of tiles to dump the uh, steam turbine water on. So these are going to be actively cooled. So we want to take the water out of these steam turbines and just dump it back in the room. So I think it makes sense to bring it out over here. And dump it here in the middle-ish of the room. Then the next thing is the active cooling. So that would be the thermo aqua tuner. So this machine is the bigger version of this machine. It runs with liquids instead of gases and it takes a lot more power but it can move a lot more heat. I'll put this here. And we want to make this out of... This steam is going to get up to 200 degrees, so we want to make that out of steel. So we need, a, we need to get some more steel sent over here. Uh, looks like we have a few payloads for the steel. So we are getting that over from the other planets. I'm honestly quite tempted to expand this room outwards and have this be an industrial sauna because we're going to be actively cool to get anyways. We could put a metal refinery in here. I don't know. Seems kind of risky. I think what we'll do is we'll make the industrial sauna here and we'll connect it to this hydrogen. So we'll absorb the heat from this 500 degree hydrogen vent. Run some steam turbines to cool it down and then that room will be connected to where our industrial sauna is, and that's where we'll do our steel production. Because the iron from this, we need to combine it with refined carbon and lime to make steel, and that's that's a, a good building material. The stuff you don't want to overheat. So send green signal if... let's see. Yeah, so if it's above 200, it will come back over here and run on this loop. And if it's... If it's not above 200, then it will go in here and it'll get actively cooled. I 
Actually, no. This doesn't need to be 200. I'll set this to 130 again. We'll get less power out of these turbines. But, um, it'll be colder. I've not built an actively cool one of these in a while, so I might be doing this wrong. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but anyways, what will happen after that is the colder material will go over here. And I've realized I've not left space in here for shot off for cooling this stuff. So what I'm hoping is... If we just do one run in here, is that going to get cold enough? Let's not do it like that. Let's do it like that. Is that going to get it cold enough? We'll see. I'll just do this for now. This petroleum should conduct heat pretty well with the metal. And the metal shouldn't be hot enough to, to boil this petroleum. So I think this is okay. But we'll see what temperature it comes out as. I'm not convinced it'll be cooled down to room temperature, but we'll see. But yeah. Still need a bit more steel before we can build that thermoactive tuner. We know we're going to need to make some pipe in here. We actually have a load of aluminium and we're cooling this whole bit anyways. Uh, all the aluminium on this <laughs> on this asteroid is super hot. Like, uh, where is it? See, there is some aluminium in here that's not super hot. We've got 18.3 tons here at 300 degrees. That's actually fine. I'm going to build this pipe out of aluminium because it's the best thermal conductor and we need a lot of thermal conductivity in this room. So we'll connect these pipes up in a minute. Let's just get the built first. Also, I've got to go to bed in like half an hour. <laughs> so hopefully we get this finished today. And then we'll see if it operates uh, soon enough. Right, so this... This power wire can come over here like this. It's fine. Let's try that. Construct this too. But yeah, we're, we're kind of at the point where our dupes have enough food and oxygen and stuff, so we have got the freedom to just do these building projects without worrying about everyone's survival. We have had a few hiccups, but I think we're in a pretty good spot now. What has happened with all the hydrogen in here? Yeah, there's, there's way too much hydrogen in here. Insufficient resources filtration medium. We've run out of sand. Oh man, that's not something I thought about. Oh dear. We have 207 tons of sand over here. And 275 over here. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll start payload launching some sand over as well. <laughs> hmm. I mean, eventually, we're going to need to get some sustainable sand production going on. You start with a lot of it, but it can run out. And the usual way you get that is by boiling salt water. Because you'll get the salt and the water out of that, and then you crush the salt into sand and table salt. In fact, let's tell them to do that over here. We are actually using this machine now. So that should give us table salt, A, which makes our dupes happier when they're eating food, and B, it gives us the sand, because the salt on its own is not very useful for us. Probably already got some salt. So this room is going to be getting quite hot, that's fine. Right, thermoacritude time. I'm going to stick that... I'm going to stick that here just so that the liquid just dumps directly on the thermo tuna. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it here. 
And then we'll put some more temperature plates in here. We'll make these out of... What will we make these out of? I'd like to make them out of diamond. But we I don't think we have any diamond over here. And I don't really feel like importing it. Maybe we don't make any temperature plates in here for now. I think it'll be alright. Right, so. Hot water comes in. Or hot liquid comes in. Cold liquid comes out. So, we want a liquid pipe thermosensor to automate this with. connects up here. Then this pipe will be insulated. Because the liquid needs to stay stay the same temperature in here and exchange temperature in this room. So we'll make that out of in igneous rock. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be mostly insulated. Uh yeah, I think we'll you know what actually let's do let's do something else. Let's just run through the insulated tile instead and then just have a little bit of insulated here. Oh, we definitely don't want a bridge over here because that will transfer heat between the two rooms. Which is not what we want. So how am I gonna do this? I think this pipe needs to move. We need to put this here, uh, instead of here. So deconstruct this. Speed to it again. 37.5 cycles. I mean, we're definitely going to get this ready in time, but... Are we going to get it ready by the end of the stream? <laughs> Don't think so. I'd like to. Let's make this actual insulated pipe. We go up like this. And then we can get this looping. So we want the loop to terminate here or somewhere along these lines. In fact, I can actually keep this. Cancel this. Let's connect this. That pipe can go there. So then what I could do is... Send that there. That up there. Then what we could do is... Something like this. Yeah, that works. Have this radiate, have this absorb the heat from the whole room. Wait. Oh yeah, we're making this out of aluminium. That's fine. Yep. And then that pipe can just connect here. Yeah, that works. Yeah, okay. That'll do. I think that'll do. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow, not Nets. Me and Whiskers appreciate the company. <laughs> I, posted a, I posted a funny short video of uh, Whiskers on the YouTube. She was putting a face like that today. Whiskers loves to pose. I'll do a fish update in a minute when we're, uh, when we're finished. But uh, this build, it should be fairly soon. In terms of power, this thing consumes a lot of power, so it needs to go on its own wire. That's going to come...
gonna come here. Make this out of gold. Yeah, we'll just send this down here. Because this basically needs its own transformer. It's, it's 1.2 kilowatts. So that can go like that. That's okay. So I got that wire built as well. Uh, we'll actually disconnect this stuff from here. Maybe? I don't know. Probably not needed. But then what we'll do as well is we'll need to bridge this. So we always want it to feed from the aqua tuna first. And I think what I think all we have to do is put a put an igneous rock pipe here, put a bridge here, and that should do. There's got... Oh, hold on. There's definitely a better, a neater way of me doing this pipe. Sorry, was indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. So, if I just send this down here, and then bridge this up here, we can send the pipe over here, and then go up here. I think that makes more sense. I could just be overcomplicating it, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll just get this done now. And then we actually need to fill this with liquid. And the liquid of choice is polluted water. So... Water has a pretty good specific heat capacity. It will it will take a lot of energy, it'll take a lot of heat energy to warm it up to the point where it boils. But obviously it freezes at like 0 C and boils at 100 C, so the temperature range is not amazing. Salt water absorbs slightly less heat and has the same temperature range, so it's not very good. Polluted water has a temperature range, it's not shown here, it has a temperature range of minus 20 to 120, so that's probably better for what we're looking for and we want to get rid of the polluted water anyways so like we we don't we don't want it just hanging around so we've actually still got some down here i think what we could do is we could fill the whole loop of what we've got here at the moment if i disconnect this that's all polluted water We'll just build this pipe over here. Um, yeah. And then we'll bring that down there and then we'll bridge it here. And that will load up the loop from here and then when it gets blocked it won't load anymore. So this should fill this whole loop with polluted water. Yeah. The reason I'm using regular pipe here is because if you've got the regular pipe in the insulated tile, it won't exchange heat very much, even though the pipe isn't insulated. So it's about as good as the insulated pipe on its own, and the Imagine insulated that. pipe uses a lot um, more material. Hey, Treble Queen. How's it going? Hope your Oni has been treating you well. We're building a metal volcano tamer. It's cycle 616. Very cursed. Um... We already built some gold volcano tamers. This one over here is actually working. Um, although the volcano has stopped erupting for now. Uh, so we're finally uh, stopping our volcanoes from just erupting <laughs> nakedly onto the map and producing an absurd fall. amount of heat energy. Hey, like, hey Late Night Tacos, how you doing? We're going to do a fish update in a minute. I'm going to wrap up in like 15 minutes because I've got to get to bed. But uh, yeah. We, we've actually tamed these gold volcanoes. We're getting some nice cold gold coming out of them now. This iron volcano we're setting up as well in a slightly different way. We're going to actively cool it with a thermo aqua tuna. 
And I haven't done this in a while, so I might not be doing this correctly. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I feel like the build is pretty sound, but we won't really know until probably Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Because this is dormant for now. But we're going to try and... We're going to keep this steam room really cool. And we're going to try and cool of our refined metal in here. All of our refined metal in here as well. So eventually, the conveyors for these gold volcano tamers will just go straight to this room. And they'll connect on here. But yeah, we're doing all right. The wires are not very neat. But, but this asteroid is coming along properly. Also, I keep forgetting to print stuff. We've got a farter. Wow, we've done it. We've got another dupe. <laughs> We're doing the flatulent uh, only challenge, so we can only print flatulent dupes and we have to print them. So this guy is a decorator. This time he has um, interior decorator, so that's nice. Got cooking, he's got doctoring. I'm pretty sure at this point, two thirds of my dupes have either doctoring as an interest or the caregiver trait. Um, and we have been scolding our dupes, but I'm kind of worried about how much the du the, the, the game thinks we're scolding our dupes to give us this many doctors. So let's print off Joshua. Now, we have a slight situation here. Um, we are limiting ourselves to 10 dupes per asteroid, and this is dupe number 28. So we're going to have to colonize another planet pretty soon to keep up with these farters. But yeah, Joshua can come over here. Next to the puppet. And I don't know what your name is going to be. I think we need another decorator, to be honest. You can just be the decorator. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> we, we skill up the dupes between the streams. Um, we start with hard digging. That's pretty good. Right, you can literally have art fundamentals, and we'll just get you up to max art. That's fine. And then, uh, priorities-wise... Dr. Tudima Dupes. Yes. You can, uh, rename, uh, things for 1,000 channel points. Silly Device has been renaming most of the dupes in the colony, but feel free to, uh, do that if you, uh... You probably don't have that many channel points yet, but you'll, uh, you'll probably get them eventually. Let's see. Digging, that's fine. Uh... Decorating is turned off by default. Eventually, we'll turn it back on for you. Cooking, doctoring, that's okay. But yeah, the dupes will get these little snazzy orange outfits now when uh, when they get printed. We've been uh, using our loot boxes. All the farters get their nice uh, natural gas-themed clothes. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Travel Queen. I appreciate I appreciate my gesture, right. Uh, Dr. Tutti McDupes. I like it. We've got a good selection of names on this uh, on this colony. I like it a lot. Rodinger's hat. Yeah, you can actually get out of here. That's good. But yeah, asteroid's doing all right. Uh, you haven't got enough resources to build this. What? I'm sure you do. Oh, you, you're taking the steel here now. That's fine. You've got the steel. And uh, why do we keep getting petroleum here? How does that keep happening? Oh, oh, I know why this is happening. They're bringing in really hot metal and it's flashing the crude oil to um, to petroleum. It's something. Well, let's, let's deal with that. Gasman is very excited to be here. I mean, we put the crude oil here specifically so it wouldn't flash. I mean, I guess at least it's flashing to petroleum and not sour gas. That's good. Hey, silly device, we're just talking about you. We've just been naming some dupes. We got another dupe. Yeah, put some crude oil in here, please. Uh, yeah, it's going okay. So we've made two gold volcano tamers now. They're both operating. They're both self-cooled. Um... And we're making an actively cooled Iron Volcano Tamer down here. Uh, this won't activate for a few cycles, but it'll be okay. I would like you to empty the crude oil out of this. Eurasia Gaming is on it. 
thank you. That will do. There's slightly too much oil in these. <laughs> I don't normally put that much oil in them. Right, this could be set to everything. So now what will happen is the material will be sent to the conveyor loader. It will go around the loop. This data bank is very hot. Um, the data bank is made of... No, it's not made of steel. It's made of genetic ooze. I can't remember what data banks are made out of. Yeah, it is made of ooze. So the, the data bank is not going to melt. At least. We have that. So all the stuff is being loaded onto the conveyor belt. It's all quite hot. So that's going to keep circulating around this vacuum room. Uh, which will eventually fill with steam. We do need to dump some water in here for that steam as well. Uh, but we can build a load of bottle emptiers and dump in a load of salt water. That's fine. Build three. Because we're going to want a lot of steam in here. So this is going to circulate until it all cools off. And then it'll go up here. Into this actively cooled room. Right. So the polluted water is on its way. So that is going... I guess it's going both ways into the loop. That's alright. Uh, this needs to send a green signal. So this needs to turn on the machine if it's above... Let's say 20 degrees. So now this is starting to cool the liquid. The cool liquid is going to go around here, although the loop is kind of confused at the moment. What have I done wrong? Ah, that looks like something's gone wrong. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. Now it's working properly. Good. Yeah, this loop is working properly. So we want the we want the material to come out of this. Yeah, so material's coming out of this first, and then it will uh, recirculate after that. Right, so now that's got a block, so now we disconnect that. Now that's going to run properly. Good. And we'll leave that bridge there, just in case we want to come back to that. Um, then, we don't want to dump polluted water in here, because that's going to off-gas polluted oxygen. We don't want the polluted oxygen here. So that can just be reconnected back here. We can continue dumping all of this. And then salt water goes in here. Keep it in the pipe for the next tamer. We got we got polluted water over here. Uh that's a is that going to be enough for the next tamer? You know what? That's a good point. I mean, there, there's so much blue water everywhere, it's not really going to matter. <laughs> I just want to get rid of this water. This water is annoying me. What's overheating? This is overheating. That makes sense. There's no gas in here yet. Okay. Uh, let's set this to above 150 so that it definitely doesn't run. Just circulate for now. And then let's... Auto bottle these, yellow alert it, and get some actual liquid in here, so we can start getting the steam in here. Because this will generate some steam even if this isn't erupting, so this should um, this should confirm whether this setup will work or not. But yeah, you guys do need to do this. Right, I really need to go soon. Yeah, dump salt water in here. That's that started to evaporate immediately, so now we've got steam steam in here. It's all good. The loop is not working. Uh looks like I need to get rid of some liquid. 
move that. Yeah, keep dumping salt water in here. Does it have to be green to green for this? Because I feel like this should work. I feel like it's only not working because we overfilled it. Because the whole point is it's going to output from here. And then it's only going to cycle if there's not stuff that needs to be cooled from here. I think it, you can't overfill if it's built right. Oh. Okay. Right, so... It, do you mean just literally put the bridge here? Yeah. Yeah, because we did that for the conveyor rails. I guess, I guess we... Yeah, I guess we just do that here as well. We're filling this with a lot of salt water. That's good. So you can see in here, some of this material has cooled down enough. It's now moving through here. And it is conducting heat enough to go in here. But because the loop has been turned off, it's not cooling down any further. Need to remove one more packet of liquid. Yeah, we'll move this belt we'll move this bridge first and then we'll adjust it. Because that might fix the issue. Charles, come do this. So we want at least we want at least like hundred kilograms of tile pressure in here. We want, I think we just want one hundred kilograms of tile of pressure in here, as much as we can reasonably put in here with the volcano. This will overpressurize at one hundred and fifty kilograms of pressure. So let's get six hundred kilograms of liquid here. Um. So now this can just go here. Who's doing this? And then we'll get the... Uh, once the cooling loop works again, this should start cooling down properly again. Right, let's see. So, yeah, now let's circulate it again. Let's set this back to 20 degrees. Get that working. Okay. That's all right. These things are overheating because... Well, that's overheating because it's... Why do we? Ugh. I meant to make these out of steel, but we ran out of steel. Let's uh, remake these out of steel. So this salt water is all going to heat up. Yeah, and they're not in steam either, but but like they will be soon enough. Well. I'm pretty confident this will work, and I'm also pretty confident I've run out of time <laughs> for tonight. Um, this isn't gonna. We'll, we'll we'll double check that this is fully operating. Um, this is operating completely correctly tomorrow. Um, once we evaporate all this salt water, it should be fine. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with at least fitting it into a nice, neat package, and I'm pretty happy that the gold tamer is working properly. That's all good. Looks like we're picking up some gold right now. Steam turbine is working pretty well. Um, and we got some <laughs> we got some more slime dug out. And sold a few issues. So, uh... Yeah. Let's see. What's the thumbnail going to be? I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. And to be honest, I'm going to have to think about it tomorrow. So, on that note... <laughs> uh, I'll keep a yellow alert just so that I remember something needs to, needs to do stuff. 10 kilograms of tile is enough to heat up things. Yeah, we could probably stop with the water. But I really need to go. So, let us... 
let us head on over to close out screen and turn music and turn on our music but yeah thank you very much for watching i uh, appreciate the company um thank you for the raid earlier uh trouble queen um we are slowly taming these metal volcanoes and stuff is getting done and i feel like it's it's going pretty well now um no survival related crises today <laughs> um so looking forward to getting the rest of this metal tamed um we'll build the cobalt and aluminium ones next and we'll probably make those self-cooled so they don't need thermo aqua tuners in them but uh yeah if you want to catch any of the previous episodes or the previous uh vods of this playthrough the flip fasters uh, you can find them on my YouTube channel, where I upload them all. Um, usually the day after I record them, uh, if I can. This one might be a little bit late, because I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, there's stuff on there. There's, there's discussion videos about Oxygen Not Included. Uh, the Dyson Sphere Program playthrough is on there as well. And I'm going to be back to Dyson Sphere Program tomorrow, so we're going to be making some green science there, hopefully. And uh, yeah. I usually stream between 7.30 and 10.30 GMT-ish. It's British savings, uh, British daylight savings time at the moment, so um, be aware of that. Uh, but the best way to know what and when I'm streaming is to follow me on Twitch, and you'll get a notification when I go live. Um, thank you for um, both of you who followed uh, today. I appreciate it. We're almost up to 200 followers, so doing pretty well. YouTube channel is going all right as well. We're up to about... 340 subscribers on there so that's nice um, and there is also a discord page where we uh the discord group where we hang out and we post memes and builds and stuff as well lots of oxygen not included related discussion there but uh enough about me let's go find someone to raid under who's on the moment looks like sushi queen is on uh let's go raid sushi queen she is currently what is she currently doing Um, looks like they're building some ladders about cycle 660 ish. Uh, build projects only. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but we'll, we'll go say hi to Sushi Queen. So, if you have any fishy emotes. Oh, well, that's right. I forgot to do a fish update. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do a fish update <laughs> before we wrap up. Here's the fish. Here's a, here's a nice close up of the fish um, <laughs> if uh, you still wanted to see them. Whiskers has recovered from eating a snail that was a bit too big. And uh, the lights are off because it's a bit late now. But uh, yeah, they're hanging out, they're okay. Rob's doing all right in that time. But uh, yeah, I think everyone's ready for bed now, so. Let's go raid Sushi Queen. Yeah, Leofar probably is already there. But yeah, thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, for some Dice Street program, and Oni will resume on Thursday. So, see you later. Bye for now.